Well, here we are again at Bealton the Cottage, and you're very welcome. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I made a video, but it's been very, oh, I won't say stressful, but there's been a lot of hard work going on here at the cottage, and I've been painting, I've got the sitting room finished, I've been clearing things out, I've been bringing things to the charity shop, I'm getting everything ready for the wonderful feast and Celtic celebration that is midwinter. I have family and friends coming, so there's been lots and lots of work to do. So I want to talk to you about something which has been a pivotal um, aspect of my life at the moment, and that is simply change one thing. Now, it is a philosophy which has got its roots in lots of uh, New Age teachings and philosophies, and I've been practising that recently. So the, the aspect of changing one thing in your life, I mean doing something entirely different, brings in new energy. So it started here at Bealton the Cottage with painting the sitting room. And I started painting it a totally different colour from what I would normally even choose. And within that... There's been changes that have followed and they've all been very positive changes. So it's led on to other changes. So instead of getting up at around eight o'clock in the morning, I've started to get up at six o'clock in the morning and spend those couple of hours before the dawn just preparing for welcoming in the day. And I've also been walking in the woodland during those dark hours. And the sounds have been incredible. You know those beautiful sounds from the birds as they're waking up and they're just starting to call to one another. And I've also been making other little changes. Like rather than have my coffee first thing in the morning, I've been fasting right up until 11 or 12 o'clock midday. And that's made me feel even more energised. And I've been discussing aspects of this with friends and family. And we all seem to agree that if you just keep doing the same things all the time, keep into the same timetable, keep into the same way of eating or... Um, looking at the world or, you know, if you keep on just watching TV rather than doing something a little bit different like reading a book, the outcomes in your life will just continually be the same. And you've heard that saying, same old, same old. Well, yes, it's a case of sticking to that routine and always that outcome will be the same unless, of course, an aspect of chaos creeps in. So this year I've decided as well to put fairy lights on the old Irish dresser in the kitchen and I've been so thrilled with the outcome because it's changed the way that I see the kitchen and um, I've also changed the setting of the table and chairs so I've pushed them forward. I've made space and within that space of course you're going to encourage new energy. And when visitors come, when friends and family stay, the way that you interact with them will be more dynamic because you have that space. And because it's been unexpected for them to walk into a place where they've always been, you know, very familiar with the setting and the setting has changed somewhat. So within that as well, I've also been changing around my wardrobe. I've been looking at things that I've had for ages and just decided, OK, I'm going to give those to the charity shop. I'm going to offer those to a friend. I'm going to recycle that. And so that's encouraged me to look at other clothes that I have hanging up in my wardrobe and you all know of course that I'm a big fan of vintage clothes and I get a lot of clothes from charity shops and so when you clear out space it gives you that enthusiasm 
and also the space, of course, to go and look for more, you know, vintage clothes, you know, colours and textures and shapes, and to try out different things. So this change one thing philosophy is beginning to snowball and all that energy has been so exciting. It's been wonderful just to indulge in that newness. And of course, you know that I follow the Celtic calendar. I live very much by the light. So I've got to say as well that this is the perfect time of the year to kickstart new energy into your life because we're just coming into that beautiful stillness of midwinter on the Celtic calendar, which is the solstice, when the light just stays static for about three or four days the light is the same. And then, in we go, up, rising up towards Imok and that beautiful spring light because the days get longer. Each day grows longer. And so you're living in a period of not just change, um, which is brought on by the heavens above, but the actual return of the light which is incredibly energising. So this is the perfect time of the year to begin thinking, contemplating about changing one thing and seeing where that takes you. Because, you know, if you keep doing the same old, same old, nothing's going to change. The energy that you are putting out will be the same energy that you are receiving back in. How dull is that? Don't you think it's time for change? It's exciting. You don't know what's going to happen. Even just deciding as you go out to do your shopping, oh, I'm going to stop off at this cafe and I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Do something just different, out of the ordinary. (laughs) now before I go I want to thank all of you who support me on Patreon because it's so important to me I'm actually because of all this change going on I've decided to get the internet installed here at the cottage so I'll be able to make more videos and upload them instead of taking hours it'll take minutes well that is according to my son so Thank you so much for all your support and happy midwinter. And remember, change isn't frightening. It's not something to be scared of. It is invigorating. It will re-energise everything in your life and the way that you see the world. So blessings to you all, my friends. Blessings to you all.